and a mysterious inflammatory disease is affecting some children with COVID-19. No cases have been seen in Colorado, but New York is investigating about 100 possible cases of this new disease. Hospitals in 15 states and D.C. have reported cases, and CBS4 health specialist Kathy Walsh explains parents and doctors are concerned. <laughs> When four-year-old Lincoln Zimmerman was hospitalized with COVID-19, his mother, Dr. Anna Zimmerman, admitted she was frightened. You could tell he couldn't catch his breath. The coronavirus is alarming enough, but now some children with COVID-19 also have a strange inflammatory syndrome. It was like one minute he was fine, and the next minute it's like he woke up with this weird, strange fever. Sarah Garcia from Illinois says her son Nolan's fever almost reached 105 degrees. It wasn't a cough. He was not having a hard time breathing. The six-year-old's coronary arteries were enlarged, a sign often associated with Kawasaki disease, and he tested positive for COVID-19. He had what's called pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome. Possible symptoms are fever, rash, and abdominal pain. Pediatric hospitals in Colorado haven't reported any cases, but are studying the condition. Many of these children have tested positive for COVID-19, but not universally. Dr. Michael Pedersen, cardiologist with Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children, says, while scary, a treatment used for Kawasaki is effective. There, again, have been a, a few deaths, but most of the children who have had this condition have recovered. Kids with this syndrome get sick very quickly. Doctors say call your pediatrician if you notice warning signs. I'm Kathy Walsh covering Colorado First.